what's up everybody and my name is Patricia Prieto and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing something pretty different something that I have never tried before um, but I've seen it all over the internet and I'm really really curious to do it so here you go today I am going to be doing my very very first Q&A and mukbang <laughs> Um, so I have food from Evi, uh, from Ebi Ten, and it's a Japanese restaurant in Poblacion, and I'm so excited to get started because I had a few bits. That's why if you saw, I only have a little bit of the sushi because I also tried it with my family and they enjoyed it too. So yeah, here you go. But before everything, always remember to like, comment, subscribe, and to hit that notification button so that you'll know whenever I have new videos out. And at the same time, everyone, please remember that I put all my social media links in the description box below so you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook as well. I have questions that you guys sent over to me um, via Instagram, and I'm going to be answering them now. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, so first dish and first question. And the question is, who is your closest sub blogger besties? Alright, so let me just have my first bite from their um, scallop and tuna sushi. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. This is so good. Wait, I need to eat the whole thing now. Mm. Mmm. That's so good. Honestly, I love every single one of them so much. Like, beyond words can express. I don't know what I would do or where I would be without them. Uh, like, genuinely, I love them all like sisters. They're like best friends to me. But uh, the one who I am probably closest to, it would have to be... Um, or they would have to be... Lorene and Cams. Uh, like, I've gone through so much with them, and um, let's just say that if it weren't for them, I honestly don't know how I would have survived a lot of dark times in my life. So, yeah, Cams and Lore. Our next question is What is your fave coffee shop? So, I personally, I love coffee so much. I love this question. Um, it depends where I am, but if I'm here in the Philippines, I do enjoy going to, let's say if it was just like a regular like uh, stall sort of thing, like where you can find it in a mall, I would say Starbucks Reserve. Like I love going to the one in Westgate and in Rockwell. So I always go there for coffee. Um, but if you were to talk about like specialty coffee here, I would go to Caravan Black, one of my favorites. Um, and I also order their uh, I also order their coffee a lot. Um, another one would have to be Commune. Commune coffee is also really, really good. I um, I have gone there a couple times for meetings as well as for shoots. Another one is Coffee Bean is also really good. You just have to know what to order. And my last favorite is Cafe 76. They send coffee over and I genuinely love their coffee so much. They're Vanilla one was good, the hazelnut one was good, and they also have iced tea, which is really, really yummy. Uh, in Caravan and Black, I normally get the Cooper or the Cold Brew. It's also really good, so you can't mess that up. And I also love their, uh, what was that other one? Oh, their Flat White's also really good. Oh, Toby's. How could I have forgotten? Toby's Estate's also really good coffee and good food as well. But if you ask me abroad, um, the ones that I remember are like if you go to Korea, please make sure to go to Famous Lamb. Uh, Lorene, uh, Miggy, Tisha, and I were just really fortunate that it was just literally a block away from our hotel last time. Um, and if you go to the States, like in San Francisco, um, there are a lot. The, what's it called? The Mills? It was one of the places that my cousin took me. But yeah, there you have it. <laughs> Oh, okay, so this is their tempura. Ooh. Here you have it. Ta -da. I'm gonna eat first. I think this is fish. Mm. 
What are the three dramas that I would recommend or three K dramas that I would recommend? Uh, I'll give five because it's hard to narrow that down to three. So first would have to be Ite One Class. It's a nice um, change from your normal rom coms that fall under the drama category. Uh, second would have to be Reply 1988. I'm not done watching it yet, but I would highly recommend it to people because other than the storyline, I love the character development, I love the plot, and I love how they really make you believe that you're watching a show that is set in the 80s. Like, it's really, really good. That's two. <laughs> My third one would have to be um, Weightlifting Fairy, Kim Bok Chu. Uh, why I think it's a great way to introduce your friends into K dramas. It's got that good dose of kilig. It's got that good dose of like good vibes and a nice story to it too. Uh, fourth is what's wrong with Secretary Kim. Other than Park So Jun being a reason why you should watch it, is um, I also like the storyline of this one. It's very very cute and kilig. Like I love. I'm a sucker for rom coms, so. I love that. And the last one I would recommend would be uh, Memories of Alhambra. If you understand augmented reality and if you like video games, um, it's a great, great story. Uh, acting is really good and it's also probably one of my favorites because my, my crush is in it, but um, I genuinely liked it. I actually finished it really fast. The story gets you hooked. Um, and so yeah, be sure to watch. Those are my top, it was supposed to be top three, but I made it five. Motivation to work out. So I guess it also means like what keeps me motivated to work out. Other than it being my job, I make sure to keep uh, working out because it's good for my mental and my physical health. Mm. Hmm. I love the feeling that I get um, during and after a workout. Make sure to change it up. In terms of me working out before I got the bike, that's what I would do. I would do legs one day, core a few set of days, and then arms, and then go back. Like I would change it up just so that my body doesn't plateau, and then I would get excited. Um, if it helps, music plays a really, really big part, which is why I love um, spinning so much. So now I have a bike, um, and I do teach a few classes already each week, mm, one or two classes a week now. Um, and that's why I like electric. It's because it's literally, you can listen to your favorite track and work out to your heart's content. Like I, um, every time there's a new song that I like, I'll listen to it and I'll be like, oh my God, okay, I'm gonna try this on the bike. So that keeps me motivated. And another thing that keeps me motivated to work out is mainly that good feeling that you get when you accomplish one. Like you feel so good. It feels so good when you um, finish a workout and I love it so much. So um, yeah, and a little tip is a lot of people ask me this also and it's not part of the Q&A but I'll just add it. Um, what like how do you know what workout is best for you and my best advice is you just try you just try different kinds and stick with the one that you fall in love with so i fell in love with spinning and pilates and i love it so much so now when i work out i don't feel like i'm dragging my feet or i don't feel like i'm wasting time or i don't question myself like why am i doing this no i enjoy it so much um that i keep at it and Always remember, um, results don't happen overnight. Uh, it takes a while. Like for me, I posted a before and after photo last year and it took me, I believe it was two years before I got um, to see results, but also because I don't diet, but also because I was much bigger before. But um, yeah, now I am loving my weight and I am watching what I eat, except for today. I am making today an exception. But it is healthy, like if you think about it, it's um, it's vegetables and seafood, which is very, very good. So yeah, anyways, yes. Yeah, so now I'm more conscious. I make a more conscious effort for myself and I, it feels good. I love it. More of the food. 
<laughs> you love tempura. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Another question is best workout clothes. I buy from local brands and from brands abroad. So if we're going to talk about abroad, um, hmm, I would invest like in Lululemon. I love Lululemon. Um, quality and fabric wise, mm, so good. Uh, leggings fit like a glove especially if you get the right size uh i have gotten a lot from ovi or outdoor voices uh, i like that i like the style and i love the colors that they produce i also shop in nike adidas where else pe nation also i've gotten a few pieces from like h&m Forever 21, but normally I go for Lulu, OV, Nike, and Adidas. And locally, I get from um, Uvit. I love the set. So they've sent me a set, and it's um, these biker shorts and a crop top. And I love the color, I love the fit. Also, it fits like a glove. Um, and that's where I buy locally. I have yet to explore more local brands that make um, athleisure. So by the way, you guys, if you have suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below because I would love to um, try out local brands in terms of workout clothes because I've seen my friends with some and I know that um, quality is good. So do let me know because I would love to find them and I would love to try them out. All right, so this is an interesting question. Um, so someone asked, how to deal with that pagod or tired feeling? Yung pagod ka na pero ayaw mo mag give up or let go. So technically what she was asking was like, how do you deal with that tired feeling? You know that tired feeling when you're exhausted but you just want to keep going? That's what it meant. <laughs> so for me, I, I always remind myself why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, let me use like let's say working out as an example. I always ask my writers to set an intention or to give yourself a reason as to why you're clipping in each and every time. So um, there's that thing that will push you. There's that thing that will keep you going. And um, that sort of can be applicable to real life. So there must be a reason why you're doing what you're doing. There must be a reason why you're pushing. There must be a reason why you're giving your all for that one thing, for something. and. Um, when you keep thinking about it or when you put that in mind um, that's what keeps me going because I always remember that there's that reason that's pushing me there's that reason that's um, giving me that much needed you know, that energy that I need mm. Mm. and I also tell myself that when I'm tired that is when I need to have myself personally push my own self even more um i can't allow myself to give up when you're literally like oh my god can i do this that's when you have to stop tell yourself that you can do it and always remember you are your best cheerleader so people can always like people can cheer you on and people can keep telling you like good things like go 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 but when it comes from in here and in here it feels i don't know there's that much needed boost or there's that extra boost that you get so if you can push yourselves a little bit more just remind yourselves why you're doing what you're doing and the rest will follow okay what is my favorite or go-to place in Cebu the sky pod we stayed in the sky pod with my blogger besties we were actually complete after forever we hardly left because when we were there, um, we had Chris's birthday and then she cooked for us and we were supposed to leave a few um, days later, but we ended up extending so we were just staying in her house. If I remember it, 
I will put it in the description box below, but there's this Italian restaurant that um, Chris, her mom and her sister took us uh, on the day we found out that our flight got uh, canceled. Um, that one was really yummy and there was also another Mexican restaurant that we went to. Um, I am so forgetful, I am so bad with names, so do forgive me, but if I do remember, I will put them down in the description box below. And don't worry, I'm going to do my research and um, I will get back to you. I'm so sorry, I wish I could remember. Ideal age to get married and would you rather settle in the Philippines or abroad? Ideal age is I don't really have one. Uh, honestly, I don't think that we should put a number on that. Just wait till you're ready. Wait till you find the right person. Uh, so don't rush it. I don't feel like you should rush into things like that. So that's me. And would you rather settle in the Philippines or abroad? It depends. It depends who, where I am in my life. It depends on who. Um, I end up with but I'm open to living here and living abroad as well. We'll cross the bridge when we get there uh, I'll have to see how I'm feeling when the time does come mm -hmm. By the way you guys honestly, I will put the <laughs> details of this restaurant Because It is so good. It's so good that even Oli wants to try it. He was watching me as I eat one last question and the last piece because I am almost done with my food. Why did you choose to stand EXO than other K-pop groups? I am I don't think I just like one group. I like a lot. But maybe you can say that I listen to EXO more than a lot. I think it's because of their sound. Um, I genuinely love the sound of EXO. That's not me saying that I don't like other um, K-pop groups. Musically, I do love the sound of EXO more. Uh, I was a big fan of BTS as well. Mm. Music taste changes. Um, and it's not that I don't like them any less or that I hate them, but right now, I really, really do love EXO so much. So, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you had fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. I did. I'm enjoying eating. Mm. Mm. If you want me to do this again, let me know what I should eat. A lot of people suggested Korean food, so don't worry. I'm going to buy um, KBBQ and I'm going to space it out. I'm trying, going to try and do this maybe, what, once a month? This is for the month of June. <laughs> Yeah, so if you have questions, ask down below because if I see them, I'll save it for the next one, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And if you ate together with me, let me know what you ate. I don't know, it'll be cute. Stay safe. Take care. <laughs> and also, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Follow me on all social medias. Um, on all my social media accounts, everything is down below in the description box. But wait, I'll show you something. Come here. And before we go, say hi and bye to Ali, who has been such a good boy during filming. <laughs> Look at him. And please wish him well. He wasn't feeling too good a few days ago. He had a tummy problem. But he's doing better now. So, <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching. And... If you want to follow Ollie on Instagram, I put his Instagram Instagram account on the description box as well. <laughs> Alright you guys, thank you so much and till the next vlog, bye! Mm.